so the next task is a tree it's very important concept when you do the searching problems of in a graph and all over so what is a tree it is first of all a tree is a connected a cyclic graph a tree is connected or cyclic graph what does it mean of or cyclic graph or cyclic graph means there is no cycle exist in the graph it is called or cyclic graph. so i may define a or cyclic graph it is a graph with no cycle it's called the or cyclic graph for example we can draw a tree is like this so this is the tree or i can say this is the tree okay so this are the examples of a tree these are the example of a tree it is a cyclic graph that means there is no cycle and it has to be connected okay once you have a tree then you can talk about the leaf of a tree a leaf is a vertex or i can say a pendant vertex whose degree is 1 a leaf is a vertex of degree 1 for example this is of degree 1 this is of degree 1 this is of degree 1 so on okay or i can say a leaf will have no children a leaf node has no children nodes okay, another way is to looking at that then we have a rooted leaf rooted tree the root node of a tree is a node with no parents for example in this tree i can say this is a node or i in this i may say this is this is the a rooted tree with this is the root node okay there is at most one root node in the rooted tree that is at most one node in rooted tree so at most one node should be there if the tree is rooted then we can talk about the depth and the level that means how much depth is the root is there so the path or first of all i should say depth root depth of a node v 
is the length of the path from a root to v for example if this is my root i can say this is the vertex is my root then a length from here to here it is called the depth from this point or depth of this vertex b so the depth of this vertex b is 3 that is generally denoted by l of v which is 3 okay and the maximum depth it's called the depth of the root so that is a level is also there have so in a rooted tree a vertex v is said to be level at l of v if v is a distance of l of v from a root for example l of v for this graph is 3 sorry this vertex is 3 for this one is also it is 3 because it goes here for this one and for this one it is 2 for this one is also 2 for this one it is 1 for this one is also 2 so in that manner a level is defined so how much level is there a set of all nodes at given depth is sometimes called the level of a tree so that as i said that depth and the level is slightly different term terminology but in some sense it is the same and the root node is a depth at zero so i can say here here it is a zero depth here it is one depth so all this are one of one depth this all of them are of two depth and this all of them are of three depth or i can say it is a one level two level three level in that way a level is defined then it is a height what is the height of this tree is a three i can say okay now next definition is a forest so what is a forest so what is a tree when you can say you are going into the forest so what should be the definition of a forest so forest is a cyclic graph what is a tree tree is a cyclic connected graph and forest is an a cyclic graph so it is a forest is a a cyclic graph so i can say it is a collection of a tree for example if the one node is there then this is the things then other one is this one then i can say this combined with this one so all together all of them if you have one graph you consider as a one graph then this is a forest then there is a definition of minimal molecular connected 
graph minimally connected graph means if you remove one edge from the graph and the graph will become disconnected after removing that edge whatever the number of that edge is is there it's called the minimal connected graph so if you can have a connected graph you start with a connected graph it's is said to be a minimally connected graph if the graph become disconnected when will remove one edge from the graph g okay so let me write a definition a connected graph is said to be minimal minimally connected if the graph disconnected when one edge is removed if you remove one edge and the graph will become disconnected then it is called the minimally connected graph so what i can say a tree is minimally connected graph what is your answer if you have any tree is this a minimally disconnected graph for minimal connected graph for example if i have a tree like this this is the tree let's say if you remove any of this edge of this one then will it be minimal connected If you remove this edge, for example, E, will it be the graph will be connected? Right now the graph is connected. If you remove this edge E from this, let's say let us remove this one. Then is it connected? No, it is not connected. So actually, any tree you can consider a tree is always a minimally connected graph. Okay. Now there is a definition of a binary tree. First of all, it has to be tree. A tree in which there is exactly one vertex is of degree two, and each other vertex is of degree one. what is the definition of a binary tree a tree in which there is exactly one vertex of degree and each other vertex of degree 1 or 3 it's called binary tree for example this one this is the example of a binary tree this is the example of a binary tree what about this what about this which so i am say this is g1 or i can say in the t1 t2 
T3 and T4. Which one of them are the binary key as per this definition? Sir, T1 and T2. T1 and T2. This definition says that there is exactly one vertex of degree 2. Is this T2 contains a vertex with degree 2? It will not contain. So the definition says that it is exactly one vertex of degree 2 and all other vertex is of degree 1 or 3. It's called the binary tree. So only the T1. Only T1. It is in T1 also there is a degree 2 is there. You can just check. In T1, there is any vertex which having the degree 2. No, because this has degree 1, this has degree 1, this has 3, this has 3, this is 1, this is 3, this is 1, this is 1. So this is also not a binary tree. This is not a binary tree, this is also not, this is also not. So I can draw an example of a binary tree is this. This is the example of a binary tree. I can draw like this also. So this is T4 is a binary tree. Not all other. They are not example of a binary tree. One should note that every binary tree is a rooted tree. Every binary tree is a rooted tree. So that means every binary tree has a root. Number of vertices, how many number of vertices should binary tree have? Whether it will have a even number of vertices or it will have an odd number of vertices. Think and give the answer. What will happen if it has even number of vertices? Just think for that. So the first remark one can write for the binary vertices, the number of vertices n in a binary tree is odd. Okay. Let p with the pendant vertices, number of pendant vertices in a binary tree. So we are talking all the things in binary tree. Okay, so it has a. Then what will be the value of p in terms of n? N is the number of vertices we have. So what should be the relation between the pendant vertices? and the number of vertices. For example, in this T4, how many pendant vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5 pendant vertices. And how many number of vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So what should be the relation? between the pendant vertices and number of vertices, total number of vertices. There is exactly one vertex who is having the degree 2 and all other vertex have either it is of degree 3 
or it is of degree 1 and you no no need to calculate the those who have degree 3 now you have to calculate all the vertices having the degree 1 So what should be that? The answer is n plus one by two. For example, here there are five pendant vertices. Total number of vertices are nine plus one by two. That is ten by two will be used five. So the answer is this. Now the number of internal vertices in a binary tree is One less than the number of pendant vertices. How to see this one? What I'm, what I have mentioned the result, the number of internal vertices except. The root the number of internal vertices in a binary tree is one Less than the number of pendant vertices, and that will prove also this statement. So let us say Q is the number of internal vertices. Except the root. Then what should be the relation between this p, q, and m? P is the number of pendant vertices. Q is the number of internal vertices. Internal vertices means those vertices which having the degree three. Okay, because you can see that. And the one of them is a rooted vertex. So this is the rooted. This is the pendant, so, and the other one is left with having the degree three. All those vertices having the degree three, it is goes in the Q. All those are pendant which goes in P, and all other means. So what is the relation between this? That is, n is nothing but the P plus Q plus one. A one is the num one rooted vertex. So this is the relation we got. And two plus p plus three q. What is two? Is accounting the degree. Okay, how many degrees is there? Two so plus p pendant vertex has the degree one. There are q vertices which having the degree two. How many total number of edges are there? So there are total number of edges is n minus one into two because every edge counting the two degree. So this is the situation you have. This is the two relation we have. And if we solve this two relation, that means n equal to p plus q plus one, and we'll solve this two, will gives you answer. P is equal to n plus one by two, and hence the number of internal vertices. That is one plus q will be n minus p. You do this will gives you the value of p. We have calculated this n plus one by two. So it is n minus n plus one by two will gives you n plus one by two minus one. <coughs> and the last one that we need to state here 
that the maximum height of n vertex in a binary tree that means how much height will be there is equal to n minus 1 by 2 so the height of the binary tree with n vertices is n minus 1 by 2 that also one can prove very easily but we'll not discussing the proof here so i think so we'll stop for today here if you have any doubt 